We're making our top rated black bean veggie burgers. These are better than anything you get in the freezer section and a whole lot easier on your wallet. I'm gonna start by just chopping up some bell pepper, onion, and garlic. I'm gonna throw that in the food processor so that it gets really fine and mixes in with our black beans. Especially if you're making this for kids who might be a little weary of the vegetables. And you can also bulk this up with whatever kind of veggies you want. However, this is a very highly rated recipe at all recipes. I've got one can of black beans that I have rinsed and drained. Before I mix in the veggies, you wanna take a fork and kind of mash these beans up. That's gonna make these kind of creamy and activate a little bit of stickiness. It's gonna kind of help hold everything together. All right, and then in go our veggies and we'll stir that around. And you can already see how the moisture there just kind of loosened up the mixture. I'm gonna kind of form a little well in here to whisk my egg instead of doing it in a separate bowl. And I'm gonna season that up with a little bit of chili powder, cumin, and hot sauce. Whisk that up and just kind of fold it all together. I myself, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. And then you're gonna go in with your breadcrumbs. Calls for about a half a cup. I would start a little less than that, just to avoid them being dry. And then you can always add in the extra as needed. All right, there's our mixture. You're gonna divide this into four burger patties. They're gonna be a little bit wet, but that's what you want. You really don't want a dried black bean burger. Now they're ready to be cooked. When it comes to cooking these burgers, you can really cook it however you want. The recipe calls to cook it on a grill. That's just gonna mimic that burger feel and flavor. But when you put it on a grill, or in our case, a grill pan, you'll wanna put some foil down just to keep it from sticking and keep it you know, easily able to flip. And then you're gonna wanna brush on a little bit of oil or use some cooking spray. What we're looking for is color and crust on the outside, as usual and then these need to be cooked through. It'll take about seven, eight minutes on each side. Looks like a burger. I love a little char on my burger. Let's build our burger. I'm gonna do a little sriracha mayo because that just sounds good. Since our burger is soft, I'm gonna add some crunchy stuff. Lettuce, some red onion, our burger, a couple tomatoes. Season those up with a little salt and pepper. That is looking good. Look at our veggie burger. Here we go. Mmm, whoo! It has that flavorful crust on the outside, but the inside is nice and creamy. Definitely has a kick from the hot sauce. Taste the chili powder. Definitely don't miss the meat here. I can see why this recipe has thousands of five-star ratings. It's absolutely delicious. Give it a try. And I'm gonna add in those veggies. Oh, no, not. 